That's the Machete star, Danny Trejo. Not only did he do that, he also helped to free a baby trapped inside an overturned SUV after a crash yesterday. It wasn't a stunt for a movie at all. It happened in Los Angeles, his hometown. The actor says he watched another car drive through a red light and then crash into the SUV with a grandmother and a baby inside. Says he tried to call in, crawl into the wreckage but couldn't reach the child's car seat. And that's when the actor says a young woman was able to get inside and unbuckle the baby. And then he was able to pull the child out. Danny Trejo is with us now. I, uh, I guess you never hi, know. How are you? I'm Danny Trejo. <laughs> I guess you never know when you're going to be in that kind of a position. What, what, what was going through your mind? No, I, I kind of just thank God I was like uh, in the right place at the right time. And I got into the car, but I couldn't unbuckle the seat belt. The, I couldn't unbuckle the car seat. I think if the baby wasn't in that car seat, probably would have died. Because wow. it, cause it the whole, tore off the whole back seat. And so then this the little girl, uh, Monica Jackson, she reached her little hand in. She had a small enough hand to be able to push that button. And then that's when I got the kid out. And my, uh, my kid's mom, Maves, worked with special needs children. So I knew immediately that this kid was special needs. And uh, he started, like, stiffening up, like, going into shock. So I, I just kind of started talking about superpowers. And you got to use your superpowers. And so he flexed and said, superpowers and then we kind of just walked away from the wreck and I noticed people shaking their heads saying don't bring him over here because grandma was bleeding pretty bad and then uh, uh, when the firemen got there uh, they were talking about the jaws of life but this one fireman strong sucker he like pushed <laughs> the car up wow and they tore open the door and then got grandma out they cleaned her off with my t-shirt and then and then uh, Got all the blood off, her, and then the fireman said, "Come on and like bring the kid." Then I, I brought the kid, and he kind of calmed down a little bit. And then uh, uh, the aunt came, and mom came, and mom was just freaking. And so I, I just kind of told her, "Be calm, because you'll you'll scare him." And then she's trying to tell me he's special needs. He's special needs. I, said, I know, I know. And I said, "Superpower." Yeah, where'd you come and up with that? I think she understood that I knew. Where'd you where'd you come up with what, what in your head made you think ah superpowers that's what I'll help. Well, you, you know what? Well, Maeve, uh, she always kind of said distraction. You know, it's like if if, if they're having a uh, an episode, it's like you can distract them. You know, and and I think he was going into shock because I've seen people like get shot and stabbed. Like they, you, when you go into shock, you stiffen up. You know, and, and he started stiffening up and. So I just kept talking about superpowers. Use your superpowers. And <laughs> the kid from Echo Park steps up and saves a kid. But what, what was the feeling after that? <laughs> uh, the feeling's great, but it wasn't just me. It was like me, uh, Jackson, the fireman, you know, and uh, the, there's a big Mexican guy that helped me pull the, the, the door open because I couldn't pull it open by myself because it was crushed. And so he goes, no, no, come on, come on, we can do it. So then, yeah, then so we both yanked that door open and, and uh, got the kid out. You just never know when, in the course of normal events, you're going to be put in a position where you'll either act and get it right or stiffen up and yeah. mess it up. Where did that come from yeah, you with know you? What? I, I, you know what? I was on my way calmly to Chubby's Automotive where I work <laughs> on my cars. I'm one of them celebrities that works on their cars. I don't buy them. Right. And, uh, and we, uh, we, uh, it just boom, it happened, you know, and then you just react. It's like, uh, uh, you know, this world, you know, we're supposed to help each other. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. I think that's the way the good Lord wants us to be is just help each other. Amen. And so I just tried to help. Well, I, I, you're not in a random diner. I hear that's your place. Yeah, this Trails Cantina. It's on uh, Selma and Coenga. Though we've got eight locations, and uh, we have a donut shop on the corner of Santa Monica Boulevard and Highland. And uh, that's you know, a good I think, location. Uh, we got a couple of other locations going to come up. Yeah, we got one in Westwood that's going to be takeout only, and then we got one downtown that's going to be coffee, donuts, and Trejo's tacos. Well, very good. And I should let the viewers know commercial. after that pitch. That was a good commercial. Everybody in the Southland, if you're, if you're in the Southland and listening today, if you want to go into one of those spaces today, if you go to the counter and say superpowers, everything is free. So enjoy.
<laughs> so nice of you, Danny. Hey, hey, yeah, and buy one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's free too. Just go in, say superpowers, uh, yeah, everything. Hey, just tell them shit. You gotta buy you. something, man. Hey, you gotta play that. Don't tell me Fox News wants everything free, okay? <laughs> buy one of these. <laughs> Danny, thank you. Good work. Good message. Appreciate it. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye. Same, same, same.